When an organization is looking to prepare an asset management plan, there are two key ingredients which are crucial, statistical data and empirical data. Statistical data includes historical information that captures age-based condition. Empirical data comes from inspection of the assets to derive evidence-based condition. Asset-intensive organizations often have large numbers of the same kind of asset. To capture the statistical population, each asset is assigned a unique identification number. This can be used to help track their age. Due to budgetary and other constraints, an organization can only do condition assessments on some of the assets. As a result, the organization has empirical data on only a portion of the asset portfolio. The ratio of empirical data relative to statistical data can have a significant impact on the quality of the financial forecast in the asset management plan. Statistical data on each asset class can be mined for useful planning information. The total number of assets, the average age of the assets, and the lifespan of each asset helps organizations to make forecasts. When an organization examines its historical data for an asset class, it can determine the history of asset failures and thereby derive the statistical averages and other useful life cycle planning information. The distribution of asset failures is captured in a survivor curve. Each pertinent asset class undergoes the same type of analysis. The modal year at the peak of the survivor curve provides the most likely year for replacement of the asset. The width of the curve, the height of the curve, and the skewness of the curve provide insight into the life cycle behavior of the asset. And with its asset portfolio, an organization can build a database of survivor curves for all its assets. Statistical data is cost effective, but will only take an organization so far. Empirical data on each asset can provide an additional layer of planning information. The individual defects observed with the asset, the overall condition grade of the asset, and the reliability of the asset helps the organization to make forecasts. The asset condition is validated at a particular point in time. This may or may not coincide with what the statistical data had indicated. The shape of the curve indicates the rate of deterioration of the asset over time. This leads to questions. Is the asset wearing out faster than it should? Is the asset going to achieve its full lifespan? Based on an organization's asset portfolio, an internal library of degradation curves is developed for all assets. It is the combination of empirical data for evidence-based condition and statistical data for age-based condition that renders a robust and defensible financial forecast for the organization. At the end of the day, an asset management plan needs an optimized balance of empirical and statistical data.